250 miles southeast of Cairo, Hurghada was once a poor fishing village, barely scratching a living out of the sea along Egypt's barren eastern coast. Until it was discovered by developers, 25 years of frantic construction later, Hurghada is now one of Egypt's premier resort areas. A 20 mile long, dense band of concrete on the fabled Red Sea, where tourists can enjoy its crystalline waters, warm sand, swimming pools, souvenirs, and all sorts of high-end water sports. Or just hang out and do nothing at all. Unlike most of Egypt, Hurghada boasts impossibly clean streets, western hospitals, schools, and malls. But Hurghada is best known for its coral reefs. The Red Sea is a paradise for anyone who loves the ocean. From those putting a toe into the water for the first time to experienced scuba divers. But all that luxury comes at a price. Unrestrained construction has polluted the crystal clear waters that brought the tourists here in the first place. Over a thousand pleasure boats are now seriously damaging the reefs. That's why the Hurghada Environmental Protection and Conservation Association decided to step in. They didn't necessarily want to limit tourism because all those snorkelers become potential Red Sea advocates. But they realized that boats' anchors were destroying the reefs, so HEPCA started putting down permanent moorings. It has since turned into a full-time job to check and replace over a thousand moorings and drill new ones. On a shoestring budget, but they've managed to earn the respect of both the fishermen and tour operators alike. Damage to the reefs is now close to zero, and there are other unexpected benefits. Mustafa is a member of the Muslim Brotherhood. Ayman is a Coptic Christian. Their love of the ocean supersedes their religious differences. If only all of Egypt could learn from their example.